And then here is the 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 uh, the key. As, as Marilyn and I were talking about this, what we're finding is that the the difficult part is that oftentimes the boards are looking at recruitment um, sort of in a in a not not quite crisis mode, but we look at it as a one-time deal. Okay, we need to recruit somebody to run for election this year. We need to recruit somebody to fill this vacancy. Uh, but if if we can step back from that a little bit and say that what a board really could use is a, a whole bunch of people who we know are um, who have those characteristics that we're looking for and who might be willing and ready to step in when we need them. And so if we're doing this. Um, of the pool of candidates we create out of that pool, maybe only a few will stand for election this year, or maybe only one of those people will be appointed this year, but there's still that larger uh, group of candidates who we can look to to fill those vacancies. So this is not a one-time deal. Um, if you go back to uh, the board's work, then if you as a board have uh, expressed the desired qualities, um, that's what we I was just talking about in the last slide. Um, as a whole board also, what is it that we want to um, say together about the screening process about candidates, uh, for candidates? Uh, and lastly, um, what, what do we want to say together as a board about the nomination process? These are some high-level, board-level decisions. And then um, you can delegate a lot of the work, uh, and we'll talk about how boards might do that, um, who will then figure out the exact procedures and plans uh, for carrying out the work. Uh, and we aren't going to get into a lot of the specifics, um, knowing that these can vary from co-op to co-op and year to year, um, but just knowing that that's your, uh, your work at the board is to articulate the high-level values. What kind of people are we looking for and what's the process we're going to use uh, in, a, in a general way about first screening.